Morning, Carfish in Japan here. A um, bit of a different video from me today. I'm um, not carp fishing, I'm going to do some some small fish fishing. So I'm going to fish a float rod and a feeder rod, um, which is a very, very unusual thing for me. I thought I'd give it a go. Um, and also, I'm on one of the big rivers that flows out of the, the central Japan Alps um, through. Kind of, it's about the borders between between Aichi Prefecture and Gifu Prefecture in, in central Japan. Um, you know, I've lived in, in around this area for 12 or 13 years now, and I've never fished this uh, this river before, or these rivers even. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a new experience for me. Came down and looked at a weekend, there was some carp fishing here. I've had this peg recommended to me for carp fishing before. Um, but, uh, you know, I just turned up today and there's two old guys look like they're, they're short pole fishing so uh, that's a good thing, it's a good sign, there's probably some fish here um, yeah, so it's going to be a bit different, a bit, bit, bit unknown um, Bait wise, got some ground bait, got some pellets, got some hemp, some corn, some worms um, I intend to fish the, the, the float, maybe a waggler or, or a slider if it's quite deep um, and I'm hoping to catch some nigoi or some some herabuna or some small carp. Um, but there are some big carp here, so so who knows what will will happen. Um, let me flip this camera over and I'll, I'll show you the river. Um, it's quite wide. Um, I don't quite know how wide. On Google, it looks to be about a kilometre. Um, so you know, it's not a it's not a small river, it's not flowing too much. There's a there's a big old weir down there. Um, so you know it's kind of backed up here. I'm hoping it's a bit deeper. Um, but I think you know I think it should be able to fish a waggler quite easily here. You know, fish a feeder with the with the tip down, it's not gonna be it's not ripping through. So uh, you know, that's that's gonna be interesting. There's a small boy over there. I think the, the plan is I'm gonna, gonna knock some ground bait up, let that settle. I'm gonna get my carp marker rod out, just um, just find out you know how deep it is, where a good line is, what the bottom's like. I'm gonna ball it in, and then uh, then get it set up. So that's the plan. Um, it's about 10 a.m. in the morning. Just put some sun cream on because it's absolutely roasting. It's gonna be 34, 35 degrees today. Um, I think I'm about to put the sun umbrella up because I'm gonna get really sunburned with even with factor 50 on. Um, Hopefully I've got through till about four or five o'clock tonight. So uh yeah, let's do it.
Right, so I've got a spot. Use this uh, feature finding lead, you know, a grappler, it's got like some divots on it. And, uh, yeah, basically it shells right off into about 10 or 11 foot, maybe it even comes up about a foot and then goes out. Here, 10 metres feels quite smooth, I'm going to guess that's silt. And there's definitely some loose gravel and some, maybe even some rocks that this held up in. So it's got quite a few dints and grays on the lead here. So what I'm going to do is, I haven't really brought any gear to fish really close. I mean, ideally we're fishing about 8 metres pole here. Um, I'm going to guess I might get ripped off a couple of times with carp. So, um, I'm going to pick a nice line, 25 metres, I guess that is. Um, just you know, easy chuck on the feed, easy chuck on the waggler, um, about 11 foot. Um, and put the bait in there. I'm going to put the marker out now, I'm going to put the balls on it and downstream a little bit more flow out there. And then, you know, I'll set the other gear up and put some, put some line clips up with some marker rigs on so I know how far out the bait is and take the marker rod in. That's the plan, so I'm going to get on with it. Right, end of the day, caught nothing. Just had one little tiny fish, like a little uh, gudgeony stone loach kind of thing that took the bait. Um, disappointing. A little too much bait in, maybe. Never expected too much. Um, I had the feeder out, I had the float out. Nothing happened. So, uh, yeah, got to get out of the cop. This park closes at 5 pm, it's very close to 5 pm. Got the gate. On the way home. Um, back in the future to try again.